Hello everyone, welcome to a daily run with us, Zazel. Yesterday's Mother's Day run. Not the same as Mothering Sunday, which is the UK equivalent, which we sometimes call Mother's Day, but isn't actually Mother's Day because Mother's Day is an American invention. It's a Hallmark holiday, nothing to do with actual Mother's Day. Shut up. Uh, was not the greatest run in the world. It was very difficult. There were no, obviously, item rooms. Well, not obviously, but if you watched it, there were no item rooms, which made a bit of a difficulty, uh, actually becoming stronger than we started. That was, um, that was the main issue with yesterday's run. The D6 kind of helped us out because it was available for boss items and deals with the devil, but that doesn't really put you in a, a very strong situation at the best of times. So... What we're looking at today is some maybe we consider taking piggy bank. I haven't decided. What we want to maybe do is re-roll it. I mean the re-roll could be tragic and it could be excellent. Piggy bank is an okay item in and of itself. Kind of a little bit better when you are a character like the keeper. Because it gives you that much more likelihood of having value for the money that you get for being hit, because obviously. The piggy bank will produce pennies at random when you get hit. And if you're the keeper, that is your HP back again. But if you're any other character, it's kind of a meager reward, or it's not much of a consolation prize, I suppose. So we're going to try to look to re-roll it, but we're going to want more than one coin or a bomb. Ooh, that was really bad damage just now. Uh, but it looks like we're on our way to get neither of those things. We have a second coin. Two is still not necessarily enough. And as a Zazel, we should not be taking that sort of damage because we have more maneuverability than any other um, character. Can't explode that either. Let's see if we get bombs from the boss. If not, we'll come back and take Piggy Bank. I mean, it will give us some cash over time, especially if I take more and more dumb damage. But on a daily especially, you really don't want to be relying on things... That, well, you don't want to be taking things that rely on you taking damage because you shouldn't be taking damage. In fact, you've been endeavouring not to take any damage at all. Our boss, of course, gave us ball of bandages because it was a horseman. The horseman always give you either keeper meat or ball of bandages. We didn't get the bomb that we wanted, but what we can do is try this. It works. I actually think Mom's Contacts is a pretty decent item. I don't think it has a damage upgrade associated with it, but being able to freeze enemies that we don't kill in one hit, which is not so many when you're a Zazel, but being able to freeze them is it's useful. It has its moments. No bombs means no secret rooms. So down to the next floor. We're going to try and uh, pelt it through this, because as a Zazel you have that opportunity. Or at least... It's kind of a little bit more possible. You do a lot of damage as Azazel, but runes can still take some time. I've just done an Azazel run, which didn't turn out too well. I ended up respawning as Dark Judas and owning the game that way, but the actual Azazel part, I didn't make it to boss rush, which is odd, because as Azazel, you shouldn't be really spending any time in these runes. Because every enemy dies to one hit. All you have to do is get a little bit too close. And obviously, too close is too close for the simple reason that you don't want to be that close to an enemy because if it moves, many enemies of course move in predictable ways, but if it moves in an unpredictable way, you're toast. You can get hit. You can take some dumb damage, you can really ruin uh, maybe a deal with the devil or something like that, and you find yourself in dire straits where previously bombs were not in dire straits. Bombs are key. Mm. Here's another situation in as much as. We only have two and a half spirit hearts. Black hearts in this situation. We may be looking at... Ooh, a... Angel run. Simply because we won't be able to take a deal with the devil unless we get some HP. Tears upgrade is actually really nice. The reason I'm taking these is that you could get a bad trip. Well, I can see forever is good as well. You could get a bad trip from these, but... Many pills that are... Bad can become good in the right situation. So I'm hoping that there is a health up or health down pill. Because a health down pill with no red XP is a health up. So if we can take all these from speed down, it's still better. Balls of Steel is great and will allow us to take a deal with the devil if we're gifted with one. That uh, golden chest that is an epic troll, well done to the game, but also a little bit of a fuck you, if you don't mind me saying so. Which I hope you don't, because I did. 
Want well, to be careful here, don't get hit by the fires. We don't really have enough bombs to be able to afford to mess to not mess about here. So I'm gonna just do the uh, do the necessary to get in here. And... Oh, you dumbass! Well, there's another TNT barrel down here, which we will use. Okay, that one exploded us somehow, but Cricket's head was actually worth all the amount of effort we put into it. Don't ask me why, how we got hit by that explosion when it's quite clear that we were on the extreme of our uh, brimstone range, but whatever, it is what it is. Damage and range is excellent, and... What's... Ah. Alright, let's make it a short run or an excellent run. It's Incubus. Incubus is okay. Not good enough, I feel to justify this situation. Unfortunately, there is no opportunity to get into the shop now because there's no keys left. There's money, but I might have keys. Uh, I guess we go and hope for the best on the next floor. No tinted rock in that room, right? No. We hope to find a tinted rock before we get hit. If we get hit before we find the tinted rock, we are fucked, and that's it. So, here we go. Superstar DJ. It is um, caves rather than catacombs, so we do have the, the okay chance because the caves are slightly easier than the catacombs. Doesn't make it a guaranteed chance, or a spirit heart could just randomly drop if it wanted to. That would be swell. Uh, this could be difficult because Bonies notoriously hit you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't good. <laughs> Very low rank, funnily enough. Uh, well. I guess, should we just play a run? Let's play a run. Boss. Uh, the species of the common cow. This is... I've got a win streak of four. And I have actually successfully got Platinum God, but not real Platinum God. Which means there are things to collect. Let's do a random run. I've beaten all my postcards, as you can see. Lilith, okay. I've beaten all my postcards. I've done every boss as every enemy, uh, as we, every enemy, every character. That's fine. I think I've therefore unlocked all the things that there are to unlock. Meaning the only things left to collect are real Platinum God and a thousand one percent and a thousand one percent. I think I've mentioned before is basically the afterbirth equivalent of Platinum God. It's when you collect everything and you've beaten everything. Um, but I have yet to collect everything, although I have beaten everything. So I think everything's unlocked. We've got to find Godhead. At least. I think I found the soul, the body, and the mind, although I couldn't be sure. Yes, I think I have. I've, I've had a look at the list the other day. But there's a couple more things that are eluding me as to what they could be. I'll use this here. Um, using this on a big room is slightly less painful than using it on a small room, because you get two charges back for using it on the big room. Of course, we're Lilith, so where we shoot from and where we dodge from is currently being a, a bit of an issue. But we will get back into the swing of it in no time at all, I'm sure. So I have to shoot in the direction of the enemies, that would be a good idea. What is wrong with me? Stop shooting in the direction you're walking and start strafing these fucking things like an Apache in Desert Stripe. The classic 1990s Sega Mega Drive uh, Desert Eagle simulation. And that game was great. Flying around the desert in their helicopter. But all I could remember doing was having to pick up ammo drops, shoot the shit out of other helicopters, and occasionally rescue uh, either soldiers or civilians from burning buildings and stuff. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure that the world has changed that much from the days when that was made. Will you leave me alone? There we go. There is a tinted rock here, which is what we needed on the previous run, but the previous run was, of course, the daily. Excuse me. Thank you. Spirit Heart is fine. Of course, knowing me, if I'd blown up a Spirit Heart, no, if I'd blown up a Tinted Rock on the Azazel run, it would have turned out to be a fucking small rock anyway, and we'd still be in a horrible situation. I should not have taken the deal with the devil, but I wanted to see what happened, right? I wanted to make sure that... I wanted it to be entertaining. I wanted it to be edge of the teeth. No, edge of the teeth? Edge of the seat. Teeth clenching. Ass cheek clenching. Everything clenching. A rip-roaring roller coaster of... Fun. Uh, but actually what happened was we died to a bony, which is not uncommon. Can't be salty about it, but it means we don't get another opportunity to try, you know? And I guess that's kind of the thing. 
you have a curse of the blind, there's a deal with the devil. You either go through without devil precedent and don't take it. Or maybe just don't get hit so many goddamn times so that you have the HP necessary. I had no business getting hit as much as I did. That's really the problem that we had. There was no reason to get hit. Oh god, what's happening? There's no reason to get hit that many times. Speed upgrade is actually really helpful. Um, on the cellar too. Because we had 3 HP to start with, as usual. We got hit once by one of those leapers, those hoppers, which can be very difficult to dodge. Um, and obviously were. But then we got a ball steel pill, which should have been more than enough, and yet we managed to take damage on the freaking secret room. Here they are again, look. Doing my head in. I don't have my, um... I can't dodge around this fucking room. Help. <laughs> Get rid of some of the, uh... Space saving. Space taking. Yeah, there we go. Just get rid of one of them and you've got so much more room to manoeuvre, but when they're all chasing you down like that, it's just it's just a nightmare. You've got to find um, a key. So you can see how you can easily take damage on that. I'm not too upset that I took damage against those things on the Azazel run. What I'm upset at is having taken damage on the secret room when I thought we were perfectly safe, right? I mean, you don't normally expect... You don't normally expect the extent of Azazel's brimstone to <laughs> be so close that you take damage from an exploding barrel. In fact, you expect it sufficiently little that... Ah, I guess we take key bum. Don't even know if it's one of the things I have to pick up, so I might as well. You expect the extent of Azazel's brimstone to be slightly longer than any bullshit explosions. Because that's how it works for the bomb flies. Anyway. Pheromones is not great. Take this. We might as well just leave this floor ASAP. We have taken a bit of time. Oh god. I do appreciate that Monstro can be run underneath when he jumps like that, but still. Tiny room Monstro. Bit of a pest. If, uh, if I had to be a judge of this, which I do because I'm commentating upon the situation, and a way of commentating upon the situation is to pass judgment, uh, not in the not in the jury sense, not in the criminality or socially unacceptable, you know, you're a bad person sense. <laughs> I think we take the mark, and don't worry about Gimpy. If I was going to take both, I would have done it in the other order, because the mark does give you a spirit heart, so we would have been able to take Gimpy, and then spent the other two spirit hearts on the mark and got uh, a spirit heart back, but then we'd be in a very similar situation to the one I just lost in. I don't really want to repeat my mistake if I can avoid it. Um, I think I've I've got some credit in the, uh, in the Doing Crazy Things account, and therefore I'm going to cash in my, my uh, IOU. Cashing my chips on that account and say, look, we've done our insane stuff for this run, for this day. <laughs> we'll do it again tomorrow, okay? Just, just not, not right now. Um, there is a different set of things that you do on a normal run than you would do on a daily run. And one of them is you don't have to do mob trap rooms. Oh. Thought I picked up that key. I didn't want Keybum. I didn't want Keybum to get them. I don't mind Keybum having keys later. Not, not, not when I need them. Not when there are still things to open that are important. Uh, you don't have to do mob or boss trap rooms if the chest inside them doesn't have a good enough value proposition for the effort you're going to have to go to to beat the room, which is usually a grey chest, two grey chests. Sometimes even a golden chest isn't a good enough value proposition because you don't have enough keys to make it worthwhile. I thought I'd stop moving properly there, so that was very bad damage. Trying to dodge in between them, which, you know, I can do. I'm capable of it. Apparently not in that exact situation. I had slightly fumbled it. I fudged it. It's fair. Um, you don't have to explore the entire floor, although we have decided previously that maybe that's not too necessary on uh, daily runs either. What is that noise, though? Excuse me, I'm definitely running away faster than that. Fuck, it didn't hit me. Piss off. Give him some really dumb damage again. 
Oh, Blank Hard Hermit. I have to take Blank Hard. It's just too good. We'll go now. It's not just Blank Hard. It's Blank Hard plus all the Blank Hard possibilities. I mean... Uh, Lilith is very good for having the, the box of friends to begin with. Starting out with a box of friends. But if we didn't have to replace box of friends, it would be such an easier decision to take Blank Card in this situation. But we do. Uh, help. There are too many of these things on the screen right now. Get rid of some. There we go. Get rid of this, which keeps creating more of the fucking things. These things don't suicide. You'll note. Oh, God. It's a it's a turny into goo one. We haven't got any bombs, so we can't even scum it up that way. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Good, it's dead. We have not been hit yet. What's going on? <gasps> Alright. This is one of the things you still have to do, even if it's not a daily run. <laughs> oh, it's an appalling room. Nevertheless, we succeeded. Yeah, Blank Card has so many good possibilities with it that... Even giving up Box of Friends as Lilith, I think is worthwhile. It's such a difficult decision. Um, there are very few items that I would consider uh, that would replace Box of Friends as Lilith. D6, uh, Blank Card, obviously. Uh, maybe the Jar of Flies, something like that. Maybe an uh, active flying item, but honestly, I sincerely doubt that even. Kind of depends on our um, situation. Not even Book of Belial is good enough to replace Lilith's item outright. You won't eat that, will you? So we do have two bombs, so we can get both of these, provided that one. Oh, that's dumb. That's an appalling situation to be in. The uh, in case you're wondering, normally that room is mirrored, as in both of those sections in the S-shaped thing have a rock. On the flooded caves, rocks have a chance of being replaced by caverns. There's an XL floor, so we need to find the other item room. Of course, so against bosses, blank card is useless. But if we have blank card something else, like blank card algae, blank card. Uh, trying to think of something. Blank card strength, blank card devil, blank card empress. Maybe even blank card uh, high priestess. All these things are things that we can use to assist us on a boss fight. And when you're only going to get one use of it, like, I mean, on something like boss rush, we've seen how just crazily good Lilith's um, box of friends is, because every couple of waves of boss rush, we get a bunch more familiars following us around. But, ooh, watch out. Help. Ah. Oh. They bounced off each other, which I just genuinely didn't predict. Um, but the opportunities for blank cards to be good for us, it, it just makes so much sense. Infested is okay. We've got a hermit card in case we get scared. It's Gurdy. I've been bad at Gurdy recently. There we go. Even though I'm really, really fast, apparently I can't get out of the way of that shot. I shouldn't have been running around the way I was. But this bit of extra speed means that I don't have to react quite so quickly to what Gurdy's doing. Although, honestly, it's a case of timing. Gurdy does something every so often, right? It may be shooting you, so you move. There you go. It's not, so you come back. Even if it is, isn't is shooting you, you've moved the same distance, you've done the same... You've made the same play. You're going to dodge away, come back, it takes the same amount of time. And, of course, it takes forever to kill a Gurdy because Gurdy's have a huge amount of health. And once you get the rhythm down, it's fine, but apparently I don't, even though I've been playing this game for apparently centuries. Put more man hours into this game than I have put into many uh, actually productive projects in the past. Nearly done. Nearly done. Done. Uh, money could be great. The deal with the devil is a bit of a problem. We wouldn't normally expect one. Uh, and of course we can't have one. And I want both. So we might as well blank hard hermit to get across the 
the map here. Should we see what this is? Yes. The Fool. Black Hard Fool is kind of like Black Hard Hermit, except it doesn't get us free entry to shops. So it's just a slightly worse Black Hard Hermit. We've got us some time left on this floor, but we've got time to spare. It being an XL floor, you would tend to expect that an XL floor has a little bit... Mm, sort of a, a, a catch-up. There's a, a bonus to time because it doesn't take as long as it would take you to do the two floors that it replaces. It's a bit sucky to have an XL floor that is the flooded caves because it's probably the hardest of them. That's okay. Let's avoid that. These are another thing where you have to sort of learn the timing of them. They do this thing and then they attack you. But actually being able to dodge as they move rather than just afterwards. Uh, it turns out to be quite tricky. Hello. Please just turn into two peeps. There we go. Get rid of this. Good. Get rid of this. Good. Once they're in poop form, they only control space sort of by randomly browning, motioning around. But I've seen this. It's infested. It turns poops, unpopped poops, into spiders, but they have to be unpopped. That is an unfortunate situation because oftentimes I would like to take the unicorn horn. This is also an unfortunate situation because this would allow us to have taken both of our deals with the devil. So I'm going to take it. It slows us down slightly. Uh, that's not a door and that's a fire, so good job. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Uh, why are you even recording this series? You're clearly not sufficiently accomplished a player at this game to be an authority, sufficient authority to put your work on the internet. What are you doing here now? Trying to dodge around that thing. The reason I tried to dodge around that thing is that I could have got past. Apart from the fact that my own shots, which I hadn't anticipated, <laughs> moved it. Well, Black Hard Hermit to get out of here, but ooh, Black Hard Awards. Awards out of here. I'm going to Hermit because there's a chance that the Devil Door is still open. I don't remember whether it was. Uh, I'm not going to buy the HP because there's a there's plenty of time for HP to just drop. So. Whatever. I would like to get that black heart as well, but it is not to be. Devil? Devil, no. Alas! I was also kind of hoping that the cursed room had a red chest in it that would teleport us back to the deal with the devil. So There were a few opportunities there to get to the deal with the devil. None of them paid off, but can't win them all. That's what, that's what they used to say. I mean, I assume it's still true. I've never tried to win them all. I mean, I was always oppressed by the very idea that you can't win them all, never to actually attempt it. So if anyone has attempted it and has updated information on that particular situation, do, do leave a comment or a blog post or something. To update. Basically, the whole world needs to know that you can win them all um, and some techniques to do so would also be... You know, it would be a social responsibility fulfilled if you told everybody quite how to do that thing. We are on 15 minutes on Necropolis 1, or, or Deaths 1, I'm not sure. I should be able to recognise by the walls. I think this is the Deaths, but um, honestly, I'm not paying that much attention. Again, more man hours in this game than I put into anything of any value, but... Not to say that this game is of no value, and indeed my playing of this game is of no value, but more that... It's the dank depths. So bombs are key. Okay. Um, more to suggest that there are m more generically applicable things that I can do that apply val that bring value to more places than just whoever is entertained by it. this is bullshit though. These runs that I do. Uh, we'll go in here and hope for the best. It's SMB Superfan, which I will definitely be taking. It has healed us fully, it's given us a speed upgrade, and a damage upgrade, and everything else upgrade, because it, as it says, is more stats. But, we have got a question mark. It's Hematomesis. Not great, but not bad. Uh, I'm not a fan of this, though. We found our boss already, and having been to our item room and not really being able to afford anything from our shop, I'm kind of content to go and beat the boss, try and make up some time, get into boss rush, hermit card out. That's another thing that we do on not daily runs, is we can get out of boss rush, rather than fighting it. It's Monstro Dur, which is fine. We can fight Monstro 2, it takes some time because it's quite tanky, but the patterns to Monstro 2 are fairly easy to 
remember and keep track of. It will kill its own flies if you let it laser them. And you can convince it to laser, but not every time. No deal with the devil for me. That was just bad positioning. As usual. Terrible, terrible positioning. Please do the laser thing. I don't know if it'll only laser when the flies come out. So every other time. See it jumps? Then you can coax it to laser. Whereupon you do as much damage as you can. It jumps. You avoid the shots. It jumps. It flies. You get in here. You laser it. Oh, it didn't laser. Okay. I mean, you can convince it to laser just by being in front of it. But I think it has to be when it's done the flies round rather than when it's done the shots round. We're okay. Um, taking that half a heart damage. It's kind of like when you start... When you fail to flawless in dungeon and you think in gungeon, you go, oh, goodness me. I could have done this entire fight without taking a single hit. If only I hadn't derped it up at the end there, but we'll go down. I don't care. It also took a very long time to actually achieve that fight. We're nearly 18 minutes already. We can get maybe a blood bag or a something. We didn't, but we got some money, so now we can hermit. I'm not going to do the... Um... I'm not going to do... Oh shit, the boss trap room. Even with a hermit card, because it would put us on so little HP and there's no obvious way of getting around it. Um, but uh, I think it's just too dangerous to do that. That was a good room. I succeeded, so it was a good room. This room can just be bypassed and not considered for the Grammy or an Emmy or an Oscar or fuck. Did you see how far that thing travelled? I genuinely thought that it would go about half as far as it did. I shit you not, I was amazed. Uh, we put some of the things down here. We could get to boss rush if we run. We probably should be running, but I don't know where it is, so whatever. This is probably the wrong way, simply because it seems to take us back to uh, the start of the run, so start the floor. So I'm going to go up here and try the other direction we've got. Hierophant card. Hierophant. Yes, thank you. I know how to pronounce it. I just happened to do it wrong at one time. Jeez, doesn't mean you have to be a patronizing. I hate this. You have to stand far enough away. Take it. That. Oh, we found it. Excellent. You have to stand far enough away from that enemy that the shots don't sort of do a pincer movement on you when they uh, they do a homing sort of thing. Right, we've got some time. Hopefully enough time. We've remembered our hermit card, which is commonly a, a major mistake of mine to fail to get the hermit card. Like, oh, I'm going to go and do boss rush and I've got this card and then by the time I get oh, damage is so bad. I need to stand in succubus as much as possible basically. It's not happening because succubus keeps disappearing behind rocks. Please. We haven't got enough time to beat mom because we're so bad. We're going to hermit card out anyway, but seriously, what's going on here? Mom, pop up. Show yourself. Take only what you need from me. Excuse me? Whoa. I can't see the shadows. Something's going wrong. I literally cannot see what's happening. We have taken so long to beat Mom. We are halfway through this fight. That is how shit our damage is right now. I didn't even realise. I mean, if we'd taken... Um, if we'd taken our box of friends, we would have at least had that. That was my key, you dick. So here's me rushing to get to boss rush, thinking, yeah, we can make it. No, how long is this fight taking? And I've taken so much damage, I'm starting to feel a little bit distraught by the whole situation. And I can't see Mom's shadow, Mom's foot's shadow. And I think it's because of Succubus, it's really putting me off. The area around Succubus is just confusing the shit out of me. I might have to turn this colorblind mod off, because it does do weird things to the shadows. Lisa. I did get a deal with the devil. With a bull fucking shit item in it. This is one of the worst items I have ever seen this game produce. So that was shit. We can't scum up the hush fight. We can't just leave unless we have an AWAS rune. We have to do it. So we can't get the two items from the AWAS rune. From, from, from the hush fight without the AWAS rune. I assume. I've not even tried to AWAS out of the hush floor. I assume it's possible. There's an invisible one of these jokers as well. 
Ooh, that was close. I started looking elsewhere and suddenly there's a an enemy in front of me. Why did you... These things are predictable and then suddenly they're not. Oops, oops. Fucking bullshit. See, I tried to, um, try to coax it to follow me like these do. But it ignored me. <laughs> That's it. Where are you? Look for a moving blob. There it is. Look for the shadow. I tried to coax it to follow me like this. But it actually ignored me and followed me in a different direction, so I got hit. Hooray! There he was. Yera. Uh, Black Heart Yera is definitely better than Black Heart Fool. Especially now that we have dealt with most of the things that we want to leave. Oh, yeah. We've got rid of... We've avoided Boss Rush because it was obviously going to be pretty difficult for us. Um, I'm kidding. I wanted to get to Boss Rush. I was trying to make out like I didn't want to go. I was trying to make out a traumatic experience, but uh, in fact, I wanted to go there and it upsets me that we failed because our damage is so poor. It took us two years to beat Mom. Probably the easiest boss that you could face. And I mean that literally. Not literally. I did take a lot of damage on Mom. There are easier bosses, of course. Take the Yarrow Rune, you bastard. Good. Ah, 2020 at least should have been something we had before we went into the Mom fight, because it's almost literally double damage. We'll do that. We'll do this. Blank Hard Yarrow. Open both of these. We get Guppy's Head, which is good enough to keep, uh, take, but not good enough to keep. Got Able, which is not even good enough to take, but I did anyway, because it's not a daily run. Don't have to worry about points. What do points mean? Points mean fuck off. We will take this because we have a golden key. We'll do that. We will open these. There we go. We probably should have yarrowed that, but never mind. We've been to the item room. We've been to the devil room. I will buy this, and I'll show you why in a second. Let's leave this cotton picking floor. Yeah. We'll yarrow this. Open both. Da -da. Both shit. At least Fate's reward is like one more piece of damage every so often. It's quite far behind. We have, um. Oh no. We've only got Incubus, Succubus, Incubus between us and Fate's reward, so it's not that bad. Our damage, you can see, is already a lot better simply for having twice as many shots, which obviously makes a lot of sense, but the point is that in a practical situation, having double damage, especially when it comes from two shots, it's <laughs> what it's quite possible for you to miss half the shots. So it's not that great, but also it's, it's fair to say double damage is obviously twice as good, but in this case you can see how good twice as good is, which is that we can actually clear these rooms before we start taking particularly stupid amounts of damage like that. Can't do that too many times because in this stage of the game, one damage is two damage. We don't do half hearts anymore. But also, I suppose it means hits from champions aren't. <laughs> Pardon? Oh! Where the hell did you go? Did you see that? He was hiding behind my familiars. What a gem end. We'll do this. This is worth fighting for. What you do is here, you uh, open one of them. I got confused by where I was again. Wow. My brain is not working today. Please. You open one, see what's in it. The next one's likely to have the same in it, so basically each pair of chests is going to contain the same general thing. Your range is extremely good, Loki. It's been working out. I only realised recently that Loki is like four-way symmetrical. He's like square, he's got four arms. That's right. Let's uh, use this here. Of course, it, uh, you can see the spiders here. Oh, I ran out of power pill just as I got to the spider. The spiders here, we're also in the other chest, etc. Et uh, we have one mixture small, which might as well make us small. We've got two more pills in here. It is also one mixture small and a power pill. We've got two things here. Honestly, I think we take the callus. It will allow us to pick up things beyond spikes and, of course, basically ignore spikes completely. By which I mean literally ignore spikes completely. Uh, but not enemies, so do watch out. And try to remember that you can't ignore it forever. Did that thing not fire because we weren't using our tears but only using Incubus? That's very interesting. I've taken Power Pill basically for this exact room. 
Although, I only realised once I'd taken it. Come on now. Just to try and get it done with. Maybe I should have used it on those those ads up there, but whatever. We're really fast, which honestly, I'm... Um, it, it's often understated quite how good it can be to be extra fast. We don't need to worry about creep either. So, yeah, being able to make dodges like this is going to be quite useful in the future. Now, this is difficult because mostly what's happening now is I'm so small, I can't actually tell where I am. Like, which one of these things is me? Is the... I, uh, maybe I shouldn't have taken so many what makes you small pills. I understand. This is entirely my fault. But what this has turned out to do, rather than just being a small way of turning yourself, a cool way of turning yourself into a sort of chibi character, what's actually turned out to be is a great way of making it impossible to tell where to be in order to dodge. Because it's already difficult to do that with Lilith, because where you dodge from and where you shoot from are different things. But now I'm <laughs> losing the associativity with the buttons that I press and the movements that happen on screen, which is dangerous in the very limited realm of danger that is a computer game, but at the same time, it's still pretty dangerous. I mean, that's our entire world right now. The danger um, proposition for anything is entirely done in, in context of the Isaac run. So if it's scary and bad, it's scary and bad. In context of the Isaac run, not in context of the idea that we could be eaten one day by predators uh, in our sleep. Not that sort of scary as well. I'm saying. We'll, uh, we'll have to do this. We don't have enough bombs to do otherwise. But at least this time, we don't have a stupid Azazel Brimstone to deal with. Wow, we're so fast that I can't push this properly without risking walking into the fire. That'll do. There you go. Boom. Time is heard. Seems to suck. That's what I was hoping for. Means I don't have to have an excuse to take it. Right, this seems like it could suck. Get over there. Dodge it. How are you supposed to... There's literally no way you can dodge that. It's a 50-50 chance as to whether it took the square you're in or the other one. What the hell? Maybe we should have yared that um, stone chest room. I mean, I know that some chests, if they contain items... Oh, well, I know that a chest that contains items is going to contain a different item for the Yared version. That's really good. This is not really good. Avoid that. Thank you. We're so fast we can basically dance around those. Which is normally difficult. You normally have to try and dance between them, but I'm not doing that this time because I care not to. Why? Oh. I was so concerned about how Krampus had managed to fire in such a way as to not produce any bullets that I forgot to do the bit where you don't stand in front of him when he's doing his lasers, but that's okay. Got a couple of HP. There's some more in here, actually. We should take it. We're not fast enough to get to Hush, so I'm not going to worry about that. Particularly... I mean, this seems like a run that could be really fast, and so did the Azazel run, which we obviously curtailed prematurely, but it could be such a good run, and yet it's just not. Everything is slightly, slightly missing, you know? You have given me another chest. I appreciate this. I don't really want that. The money here doesn't really matter to us either, but we'll take the extra bombs. The the chest came from Key Beggar, by the way, which is kind of sad because I'd rather have had the key. But as long as we've got four for the ch uh, we need eight for the chest, so we really want to be picking them up before Key Beggar gets to it. I don't know if I picked up Key Beggar in real life, which is to say, not on a daily. Pickups you get on dailies obviously don't, you know, don't know if it's obvious, but they don't count because everything is unlocked on dailies, so anything can happen. Characters are unlocked, and items are unlocked. So you could pick up an item that you haven't actually unlocked in your own playthrough on a daily, so it doesn't count. Also, it's a challenge run, and uh, challenge runs quite literally don't count uh, when it comes to rewards of any type. Black card chariot is interesting. You're going to stick with the arrow. That is not a secret room and I am amazed and appalled. We have, um, don't know if you noticed, the leech is running around causing us sort of anti-grief. There's not going to be a secret room there but I'm not going to go into the curse room until I'm sure 
I don't really want to waste the opportunity for a deal with the devil. Like the very last deal with the devil of the run. By taking red heart damage going into the curse room. I'd honestly rather spend a little bit of time looking for tinted rocks. Which is kind of difficult in Curse of the Dark. Oh, Curse of Darkness. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll just do this. Wish I brought the Yarrett in here. It says death. Uh, open. No good. So we got out for free anyway. That's all right with me. Oh, of course, we can just take this. So there you go. This is a death card. That's the chariot card because we use blank card to use it. So we could still take blank card chariot. We should actually. It might help us on the mom's heart fight. But remember the yarrow room, whatever you do. A ballsy, but it... Oh, you fucking dick. Shoot in the face. Why did I pick this joker? Huh? It's like when you're on... It's like when you're... Oh, you wanker. Do you see how fucking fast this bastard turned up? I didn't have time to walk backwards or sideways. He fucking hit me in the face, didn't he? Twat. I was going to make a quip about how it's like when you're on playing footy at school and you're the last person to get picked at five aside because no one's any... Because you're shit at everything. But everyone's still your mates, so you want to play. And then you get up in line. You've done that, right? You've been at school and you're all standing in line. And there's, like, they pick two captains for the two teams. And it's just basically whoever's best at the game. In this case, footy. And you all stand in the line and they take turns to pick. And I don't know how they choose who picks first, but there you go. Oh, this is bullshit. Can't see what's happening. I can't see where I am. <laughs> Avoid that joker because he can't be killed until everything else is dead. And then, like, bum key beggar is just the person you never pick. Like, whoever goes first in picking knows that they're going to be lumbered with that motherfucker at the end because there's an even number of people and you're stuck with the person who sucks at everything. Alright, we've got blank card chariot, so we'll beat the fight and then we'll go and get the fucking... We'll go and get the yarrow rune after. Get rid of this phase, right? That phase hits me often enough that I don't actually feel too bad about using blank card chariot, but also next phase... We can do it again with the actual chariot card. In case you're wondering what I did there. Blank card chariot got me through. The one th oh, you what? Why is this happening? Did you see that? I was standing in the position to not get hit by the fucking thing. And then the brimstone laser comes out. And do you know what was going through in my mind? I'm surprised she hasn't done the brimstone laser thing yet. And do you know what happened? Fucking brimstone laser thing. You're damn right. So I'm going, it's fine. There's not going to be a brimstone laser. No. More fool you. Joke's on you. Ha ha ha. Very fucking funny. Nope. Turns out Brimstone Laser is happening, but there was a period of suspense like you get in the films when they keep going on about something and don't actually get to the point. Uh, I think that's called suspense. So there's this period of suspense where mom was going, Oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm probably not going to do my laser, so don't worry about it. And then boom, laser, and I was fucking. You got me. Fair and square. I was. I was hoodwinked. Well, we've got our blank card. We've got our Yarrow rune. We're going up to the cathedral. We can Yarrow a lot of things if the opportunity arises. Probably should have been Yarrowing more things to date. For example, Spirit Hearts. But I've just been picking up going, oh, yay, Spirit Hearts. Because I've been kind of perplexed by the generosity of the game for giving me uh, something. Obviously, I've, there's been a lot of bad play today. Don't let me pretend that the game has shat on me in any particular way. But... It's been a bit of bad play, but there's also been, to some extent, a bit of what the fuck is going on right now, please game. Um, that sort of bullshit. So, I think we share the blame in this, uh, Isaac game, rather than me having to take everything for all the damage that I've been taking, because you've not really given me any of the tools that I require to sort of mitigate the possibility of this situation. I'm very glad that I did take Succubus early on. It was a bit risky, as far as I remember, but we survived through it. No, fucking bum fucking friend. Not bum friend even. Bum key beggar. Key, key bum. Dark beggar. Oh, no. Hello, Brian. No. Can you hear this cat? Just meowing at me like I'm going to do anything about it. What do you want? I'm playing Isaac. Can you not tell? Uh, Brian, look. In the grand scheme of things, I mean, I was just telling. How did I nearly fail to pick that up? I did fail to pick that up. In the grand scheme of things, uh, Brian, there is things that are important in context of Isaac. Yeah, don't look at me like that. I'm talking. I still didn't get that. Will you fuck off? 
<laughs> Bastard. Um, man, I hate the fact that I was last to pick for this football team. There is things that are important in Isaac, things that are scary in Isaac, that sort of situation. You're on, you're on board here, you know what I'm saying. And then, there's, like, things that are important in real life. There's things that are going down in the real world, and those are obviously more important than things that are happening in Isaac. But somewhere in between, Brian, is the shits that I give about you right now, because you are not my cat. You can fuck right off. I think he has. No, he's, he's standing at the window. I think he might want to go out, because the doors are shut, I think, at the moment. I might have to attend to this cat. I died because I was looking at the cat. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. I'm going to deal with this son of a bitch. And I'll see you next time for hopefully a successful daily run. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.